first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved in, within these last days. All right. And you know what the scripture says? We are not ignorant to Satan's devices. I don't usually do lessons like this, right? But it's going to be like a one-off. And I'm trying to put, well, Yahabashah is going to put you on game. A few things, because there's levels. The more you increase in faith, right? The more you increase in wisdom, the more you're putting off sin. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think Satan's happy about that? No. <laughs> He's not happy. He's angry. So, by any means necessary, he wants to take the elect out. Right? And there's just a few notes I've written down. There's something called the V2K system. Okay? And this is one of Esau's many, many devices. Because what's his power? Technology. You may say, well... Why, why have you got all this technology? Why, why are you doing um, your lessons with, with, with um, these devices? Because the scripture says, says publish the word. So this is how we publish the word. But if it was up to me, I wouldn't even be using this, these devices. Because these devices, Esau what, can manipulate them, contract them. And there's such a thing as facial recognition. And he, there's also something else. I forgot what the name of it, where he can make your face, make somebody else look like you. I forgot what it's called. It's like a cloning. Right, Esau can do these things. Right, so it's called a V2, the V2K system. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Look this up while you have time. It's a system set up. Right, it's a system set up, portable system set up, and it's able to record, listen to sounds. Okay, in real time. And you've always had things like this, but this is more. This is slightly more advanced. It replaced sounds, broadcasts, messages, voices, and it's part of their conditioning to manipulate the minds of people. They also use this to brainwash people. Part of them MK Ultra. And as soon as I say this, what do you have hovering over me? You see? Yes, look, look. That's why I'm saying there's levels to this, right? If you're really against the grain, if you're really against this world, then what? Satan's going to be on your ass. <laughs> okay? And this, this is just the way it is. Right? He's using sound frequencies. He's using all these things to try and throw off the elect. And to manipulate, to try to manipulate the minds of the elect. Because he's already got the minds of the majority of the people. This is a reality. This is no joke. This is what happens when you level up. This is what happens when you go against the grain. And we're going to get straight to it because I want to let more of the scriptures come out. Premise, proposal, system, so like a proposal system capability. Able to record, to listen, to speech. Okay, so it does all these things. Whispers, yes it also whispers. These are devices. Okay, and sub-vocalization through sound waves. So yeah, these things are being used. And Esau has... um. I don't want to get too personal. Esau has hired particular individuals to set up these devices against whether you're living in your flat, your apartment, your house. He set people up to do this and he uses what? BT engineers and so forth. Right? And wicked people as well. Others cannot hear it. But you can. Why? Because it's been amped up. It's been connected somewhere around your radius. Others cannot hear it. Only you. Right? And the thing with that, the thing that's so dangerous about it, if you tell anybody else, they're going to say, what are you talking about? I don't hear it. You must be mad. So I'm putting this out for brothers because this is what's going on. And I've clocked it. And they've put one outside my residence. And I've clocked it. That's why the scripture says the elect, they have the eyes out. Right? They're able to see these things. And it says... 
basically these are devices to make to actually to basically to try and make you bug out right but we're not ignorant to Satan's devices so we're going to get to the next one it's a low vibration directional speaker which are what used in streets buildings especially cars right so these things yes they're planted in cars right used items are microphone parabolic dish portable amp right and that's why you have that something a car may be rolling past anything and this could be 100 meters 100 200 300 meters away but it sounds close why because they've put a particular portable amp next to your residence and they pull it what next they can pull it next door these people they're demonic they're dealing with a low frequency really what it is what it really comes down to at the end of the day is demons right but it's all theatrics we're going to get into it a field recorder phantom power system power itself inbuilt preamp which is the power source right and separate power source is what you don't need no battery when you've got these things and they use it in cars to broadcast handlers voice from their premises so these things are being directed from what a household it's called a loop v2k message part car close range it really works when you park a car close range to that particular residence that you're aiming that you're targeting right and if you don't know these things look these things up these ain't no conspiracies these are facts and they use previous knowledge about you because they listen in these are spy devices to perform street theater and this is the premise of the lesson if you didn't know this from the moment you woke up to this truth and even before you woke up to this truth you never well you never knew but now you know Esau has hired particular people all right you're going to go here say you're going to example say you're traveling Esau has done it so particular people they'd be in your life and no it's not you may say well it's a coincidence it's not a coincidence because Esau has set up theaters has people saying certain things okay doing certain things being in certain places this is not a joke right but ultimately it's Yahweh that controls all but he does that because it gives him a sense of power and pride because he thinks he's the most high so he has these bots I call them bots robots zombies going to particular destinations and yes these are masons witches warlocks right following you as well this ain't something I'm making up okay and that's their little way of thinking they have power which really they don't but this is what happened all this time you've been in the truth you may look at someone and think well how comes this person keeps passing me it's not a coincidence it's street theater and particular phrases you may use they're going to use the same why because you were recorded by what they they call it v2k messaging right so now we're going to go now we went into that okay we're going to go straight to and it's another thing the street theater what is it people will gather around gossip fake fake laugh fake yeah fake laugh because these people they're small in the mind right and why are these things happening is to try and throw you off and to try to manipulate your mind there's levels to this truth the longer you've been in this the more you um get away from this world these things are going to happen let's let the scriptures come out now because i'm talking too much and yes they will mimic you i'm not making these things up right there's levels go to ephesians 6 because what does it all boil down to at the end of the day it's spirits esau calls it street fair other people call it street theater but i see it as this. it's just demons right but high level demons ephesians 6 and 10 finally my brethren be strong in the lord you have a shy and in the power of his might right this is our strength this is what we're strong in put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil the wiles is his tricks street theater is a highly demonic highly demonic trick where people gather in a community you hear them sirens you hear them sirens. I, I, 
I'm not saying you buy into it because it's different scenarios, but they do it so you can become conditioned to particular noises and particular sounds. In other words, so you can end up paranoid and bugged out, right? That's why they do it. But the elect are going to be able to see through that, right? And this is a device that particular brothers in the truth, they're going to use this up on you. And particular videos I've been watching, and yes, these things are happening to certain brothers in the truth, right? They're going to use dirt bikes. They're going to use trucks, right? And they're going to put a, amp, a big amp in a particular car to have it sounding louder than it should sound. Like, it's really too... A car could be 200 metres away, but it sounds closer. This is spiritual warfare, right? And they turn it up and they turn it down. This is frequency. These people are demonic, right? And it says to stand against the wiles of the devil. So how do we stand against the wiles of the devil? By applying the scriptures. You've got to come straight direct to them in the scriptures, right? These people are cowards. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. These are the highest level of forms of spirits. That's what I see it as. Esau got different terms for it. It's street theatre. The reason why he calls it that, because it's an act. It's an act. People gather together, talk to each other, laugh, whisper. You know? You know, make noise. Right? It's an act. Right? It's to throw you off. And why are they doing it? To have you... Looking at the truth, like the truth is a bad thing and the world is a, is a good thing. That's why they're doing it. This is why you have to be mentally strong. This is why you've got to have faith. This is why you've got to be mentally strong. Because if you're not, you fall victim. Okay, these are tricks of what? The secret societies to do these things. And who's involved with it? Everyone's involved. The police, the, um, the ambulance, the, um, the schools, the um, Everyone is involved. But this is what happens when you actually go against the grain. So if you can't relate to this, it's because you're still a part of this world. Right? you got to go against all odds. All odds. Alright? And against powers and against the rulers of darkness. So the powers and rulers of darkness, they also deal with frequency. Right? And you may be asking, well, how, 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 do, you, um, how do you defend yourself? Through the scriptures and against spiritual wickedness in higher places. Wherefore, take unto you the armor of the most high, the whole armor, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. This word, and having done all to stand. So we, we, we defeat what Satan with the word, and that's it. Not with the flesh, because these people, they want you to get carnal. If it was up to Esau, he would do away with us. So this is like um, a, sl a, a slow death. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to take the elect out. Why? Because we are that voice of reasoning. That's why. Okay. It's all from the higher ups. And I want to um, bring out more. And let's go to Ecclesiastes 20. Hold on just a minute. Job. Actually, let's start at Job 33 and 16. These are in control of nothing. <laughs> he, he ain't in control of anything. Right, and you have people walking out at the same time, and no, no, no. And what I'm trying to say is, no, there's a difference between paranoia and you being circumspect, right? I'm talking about every time, every time it's just silent. Uh, what all of a sudden, when I do a lesson, everybody comes out all of a sudden. Come on, come on. I'm not falling for the theatrics, okay, Esau. You got to do better than that, Esau. And sometimes you gotta laugh, you gotta do better than that, Esau. Come on. Your Jedi mind tricks ain't working. Let's go to Job. Oh man. This is high level, high level stuff. Let's go to Job 33 and 16. In a dream and a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men in slumber summings of the bed. Ren open if the ears of men and see if the instruction. So Basically, why is this done? You may ask, what, what's, the, what's the objective? It's to change your perception. <laughs> it's to change your perception. Right? Have you thinking completely outside of the scriptures? But Esau ain't in control. Why? Because it says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbers of the bed, upon the bed, 
then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. So whether Esau, when you're traveling or wherever you may be going, send out this person, send out that person, send out that woman, send out that, this, this man. Have him standing here. Have this individual standing here. It's still that Yahweh Shai that's in control. So really, who's in control of the theater? The chessboard, should I call it? It's Yahweh Shai. Always remember that. Okay? That he may withdraw man from his purpose and pride from man. That's why it's so important to read these scriptures. Now we went into that, go into Job 12 and 16. We're going to shut off soon. All right? Job 12 and 16. Um, hold on, did I put that, did I write down the right one? Shit. I didn't write down the right one. Um, you bear me just a minute. Oh, here it is, here it is. With him is strength and wisdom. Yeah, so strength and wisdom is with Yahweh Shai. He controls all things. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So those that have been deceived... Okay, and the deceiver, they belong to him. And even knowing that, so bring us what? Great solace and great fear. There's nothing that Esau can do which is outside of the bounds of Yahweh Shai. Nothing. Right? He wants to be God, but he ain't God. Right? And you could do that stupid fake laughing. <laughs> you could do that fake laughing, but you're only fooling yourself. That's the Lord. He's deceived you. That's spirits. And that's how you got to look at it. It's spirits. It's wicked spirits. Right? Like I said, the problem ain't you. It's them. They're not right. Right? They don't want to repent. I'm talking about even Israelites, because Israelites are part of this as well. They hire anyone to take part in this game. They hire anyone. Right? Let's go to Matthew 20. Hold on just a minute. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Bear with just a minute. 21 and 20. Oh, this video needs to be done. All right? 21. At first, you're thinking, hold on a minute. But it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Particular people, they were positioned in your life at a particular time, moment. It all makes sense. Because Esau does that to try and throw you off. All right? And he deals with numerology as well. Timing. All right? Ecclesiastes 20. You know what? Leave that, leave that, leave that. Leave that right now. And we shut off on Matthew 24. And here it is, here it is, here it is. 20, start at 23. When if any man shall say, Lo, hold on, 24, for they shall rise false mashiachs anointed and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. In so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very, very elect. If it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. So all these things, they're being done because really they're targeting the elect. They want the minds of the elect because the majority of people on this earth, Esau already has their minds. That's what he wants. And once he's done that, he's done his job. That's why we always got to say what? Prayed up, fast pray. And again, can you put can you put curses? Of course you can put curses up on these witches and warlocks. If anyone's wishing you harm, trying to destroy you, you can put curses up. But the, the main thing is what? Pray. All right? And Lord willing, this was edifying. And brothers and sisters, look up these things. All right? It's V2K technology. Right? And it attacks the body and the minds. Right? One more thing as well. And it ain't no conspiracy. This is real. Well, it is a conspiracy against the elect, right? The wicked conspire against the elect, the hopeful elect. Isaiah 55. And they can also use, yes, any noises. They can use uh, fake bird sounds, all these things, right? The objective is to get you to, um, to bug out. That's the objective, okay? To bug you out so they can labour you insane, so they can be justifying, locking you up and putting you away. That's what it's for. 
right? It's a program. Isaiah 55, and let's go straight to... Oh, man. Where it says, here it is, 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. That's not it, that's not it. I'm looking for that scripture where it says, no weapon... Ah oh, man, I'm looking for that scripture where it says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. That's a weapon. And it's the thing about it is um it's a weapon. If you're not spiritual, you won't notice it. Right? You won't notice it. If you don't have high, high levels of discernment. It's a weapon, a silent weapon. It's basic it's basically um a crime, it's murder. Silent. Right? So they're trying to take out the elect. This is what Esau's resorting to. But it says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Now, does that mean you don't take precautions? You take precautions. You get a wet towel, wet flannel, you put that over your head, right? And you also get some foil and wrap yourself in foil. I know it sounds extreme, <laughs> but there's certain measures you may have to take as well. Because this is what the devil's doing. And this is how you know he has a short time, right? Never experience nothing like this. But guess what? This is what happens when you level up. And guess what we got to do? Just endure. Just endure. So with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shadow arm to the hopeful elect. And death to you scoffers.